So here we have a pair of uh, Nike Air Max ones and uh, this comes in the uh, Baroque brown colorway and I'm a sucker for OG color blocking Air Maxes and this one being in this sort of brown color, deep brown, brown color. Just looks really nice. And uh, this sneaker was originally released in uh, 1987 and it was made as a, a running shoe. And this has a sort of Parisian uh, influence over it. So the airbag unit is from a, a building that had uh, escalators and uh, on, on the outside. And uh, also the architecture of the way the Paris uh, buildings are made. This, uh, the top paneling here is taking inspiration from that. So it's got this sort of curvy, sort of quite sort of simplistic design. And these are created by uh, Tinker Hatfield. So with the details, this comes in a, a Baroque brown and uh, neutral gray and white color scheme. So all it's doing is switching the OG colorways to brown and the uh, rest of it is pretty much the same as an OG colorway, which I really, really like. And in terms of tech, it's not anything special. It's got a polyurethane cup sole with an airbag unit in the heel. And these are made up of uh, all sort of mesh and synthetic upper materials. And the price was 135 pounds. So with the comfort and sizing, these are on the medium to firm side, much like any other Air Max one, and uh, nothing too special going on there. And for that reason, they can get sort of fatiguing after a while because of the firmness and uh, the hard sole. And also the fact that this was made as a runner, your heel sits slightly elevated. Your heel sits slightly elevated, and uh, basically that kind of puts more sort of pressure on your forefoot really, which is fine for running, but not when you're sort of wearing them all day, so you might feel a bit fatigued after a while. And with this particular pair, I went true to size and it works fine and it works well. Um, sometimes I go half size up uh, just because I just like an extra bit of space, but this one, because I bought it on sale, I, you know, I went half size up and it works fine. And uh, they sold out pretty quick as well. And uh, I would say the sole isn't very good for sort of wet conditions. It's fine if you're in dry weather. Uh, it's got sort of the classic Nike uh, waffle pattern, but I wouldn't be sort of banking on this in sort of wet weather in my opinion. So with the look and style, I like the OG color blocking. It's very much on point with uh, any other sort of Air Max one that came out back in the day, uh, such as University Blue or the Red. And it's a good one to rock during the sort of spring summertime in my opinion. So these are sort of perfect for that kind of weather. And uh, it's a good one to rock uh, casually and smart casually. Like I say, these are aged gracefully and work well as a trainer and uh, definitely worth grabbing. And it comes with the white laces anyway, but you can also put in gray and sail or even brown. Um, sail would work well because of the brown that's on here. So with the final thoughts, I like the OG color blocking and uh, like I say, I'm a big fan of AMX ones with the OG color blocking. And it's just nice to just have a sort of simple switch up with the different colors. In terms of cons of comfort, I think uh, for an Air Max one, it's not the most comfortable of sneakers, but uh, I, I like to sort of make do because of the looks. And the materials are on the cheap side of this one. Uh, it's, it's true to the OG, but I kind of like the ones with the leather paneling on them in all honesty. So with the ratings, I give the look and style a four out of five. I think this one looks a really nice looking sneaker. I think uh, it's just more the fact that the materials aren't the greatest. And the comfort, I'm going to give that a 3. It's uh, pretty much like any other Air Max one. It's just on the sort of mid side, really. And the quality, I give that a 4. I think um, it's one of those ones where the quality isn't too bad in this pair. The materials aren't great. There's a little bit of sort of frayed, frayed edges in the way it's been cut. And also, see sort of loose shredding here, which is pretty unacceptable, really, for the price that you're paying. And that's why I give the price a 4 out of 5. I picked these up on sale, so I can't complain. I think there were around the sort of 90 pounds mark but i won't be paying more than that and uh, that's why i overall give this one a four out of five it's mainly because of the colorway really just being this brown and white it's very much on trend at the moment and uh, one of those sneakers that's very easy to style like the uh, black colorway